In this episode of Erudite Magic, I am bringing back a fan favorite to help me do this review. Please help me welcome Don of Don's Magic and Books. Here we are. Look, we've all struggled with writing our own scripts. You know, Don, we've talked about this before in some of our conversations. Magic needs a script to do well. And in what we're going to talk about today, we've got something to share with you where the scripts are already written for you by a professional. Don, what, what do we want to what do we want to share with him today? You want to let him in on it? You want me to let him in on it? I let him in because I see him all sitting right here. We're talking about the Ron Bauer Private Study Series. Can you say that five times fast? Nope. <laughs> this is a series of approximately 24, I think. Yeah, there's approximately 24 of these pamphlets, and they are all 100% scripted, ready to go magic that will Finished. teach you. Finished. Yeah. Yep. It'll teach you what? The, the, the magic, the slights, the reason behind them, everything. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's great when you look at these, and we're going to get into some of the specifics of some of these, but if you're someone who's maybe just starting out or you don't want to have to come up with your own material, the series is a pretty great way to yep. get a full performance piece, you know, a, a real piece of theater, close-up theater, because most of these, I believe, are close-up, although there's some stand-up. Right. You'll have everything you need to perform. One of the great things also is how many of us spend... $30 on a video or a download or as much as we love books, you know, you can spend a whole lot of money For $15 you can get a routine that's finished ready to go and if you learn it move by move It's ready to go. It's absolutely great. and there's a reason that when I'm gonna drop some links down below But when you look at the website, you know, he calls these scripts. So when he's selling you these he's not selling you tricks. He's selling you scripts, and there's a reason for that, I think, just because it is all laid out. If you've read Scripting Magic by Peter McCabe, then you know that everything should be written from, from the audience point of view, and that you're talking about the movements you're doing, as well as all the things that you're saying, the beats and all that, and that's all in these yeah. booklets. And, and everyone at the beginning there talks about that, the series of performance artist scripts for magicians. That's right. He calls it show and tell, and just... Hey, quick question. Yeah. Who's the sponsor today? Oh, <laughs> funny that you would ask that. So this episode is being brought to you by the man, the myth, the legend, Don's Magic and Books. No, I, well, I wouldn't say legend. <laughs> so this week, as you guys already know, Don, Don, you have a great website. You, and, <laughs> I try. And, and the real reason he's here at my house, shh, don't tell anybody, is he's, he's coming back from the East Coast with, what, 32 boxes of books? 32 boxes, and most of them are hardcovers and heavy mentalism stuff. Yeah, so if you are a mentalist or anybody really into magic books that are maybe used, out of print, hard to find, you really need to visit Don's website, Don's Magic and Books, because over the next few weeks and coming months, he's yeah. going to be posting books that have been gone for a long time. And by the way, if you haven't sent Don an email with your requests, you know, he's basically the Santa of the Midwest. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. <laughs> yeah, I keep a want list. Um, if Jeff was looking for a book that he can't find anymore, he can send that title to me, and I keep a database. And if that book shows up, and he's the first one in line that's asked for it, then I'll contact him. And I know some of the some of the people that follow this channel have contacted me, and I've been able to put a whole bunch of, and I know this collection I just bought has 21 of the want list items on it. So some of you may be getting a call real soon, maybe even before this video comes out. And don't forget while you're at the website to take advantage of savings. Don is offering 10% off of almost everything on the website when you yep. use the code FALL this week. So be sure to use that so that you can save, get more magic, more books. I know that we all love that. Do you know Ron? What can you tell us about Ron? Um, I don't. I don't think I've ever met him. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I've ever bumped into him at a conference, but obviously he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Tom Gaddis introduced me to Ron Bauer, and he's done a Penguin video talking about these pamphlets here. But one of the things is that Ron Bauer is kind of an... I'm going to call him an underground legend. He knows a lot of different of the yeah. old time magicians, has learned from some of the best. So he's, he's qualified to teach you some of these classics of magic. And that's the thing is that all of these, I was fascinated as I was glancing through these to see that they're all built on a classic of magic. Yeah. And there's close up, there's cards, there's coins, there's Jim Bergstrom's hat trick. 
He teach, I mean, it's stage, it's close up. He covers everything. It's got silks and there's money. There's like you said, coins, or you could even substitute if you wanted to do it with, I think you were saying earlier, rocks or stones or yeah. whatever you have yep. around you. There's a lot of different magic that can be done with each of these. And speaking of the rocks and stones, this is one I was referring to, Butch, Ringo, and the Sheep. If you're familiar with the thieves and sheep, where the thieves come along, they each pick up, they each steal a sheep, the farmer comes, you put him back. He takes that trick and makes it into a full script, a full routine, and it's great. I was flipping through and looking, you know, one of the ones that I want to perform because, as you guys know, I'm a financial professional. This stuff will play. You don't have to be a professional magician to make it work. In fact, right. it's to me, it's almost even better if you are a part-time professional, to coin the phrase from Gene Anderson, but this specific one, the horn swoggled again, is you're letting your audience in on how you were cheated when someone was giving you back change at the grocery store or something sure. like that. And the demonstration is you have $30, you count back the money, you, you, you cleanly and openly show them you have $30, you <laughs> count back the money and now you only have 29. And there's a moment there where you kind of show them how you've, you've stolen a bill out. But the whole thing is pretty simple to do. And that's another aspect of this right. that I really like. They're not difficult. Right. Like if you do an egg bag, but you're like, well, what's the hook? What's the catch? He's got a whole egg bag routine called the Siamese egg bag. And there's a plot for it. There's a, a script. Um, another thing which is great, some of them that d require or, you know, you don't have to go make your thing right off, off the bat. Some of them have pieces. Some of the ones that maybe require a gimmick card or something, they'll have it pasted in the back in an envelope. So, I mean, it's, it's a full thing ready to go. Yeah, absolutely. It's really nice. The, the other thing is, you know, if you're wondering, if you're wondering, is this material for you? Ron Bauer's style, when I read through it, he seems like he's um, he's a jokester. He likes yep. to have fun with his audience. Yep. So if that's your style where you want to have that little kind of witty repartee, maybe some puns and yep. jokes thrown in there, all of that is already baked in if that's your style. And if it's not your style, the beauty of it is, is that he's always giving you the psychology, the why behind it, so that you can design your right. own script. But that's not really the point of these. The point is, is that this would be a place that you would start and then you would grow it out from there to tailor right. it to suit you, but you probably are gonna perform it as written well, initially. And like everyone's magic things always said, you know, don't perform this the way it's written. These you could perform the way they're written because He's done so so much great. He's he's already done the footwork, done the mental work. Not that you can't change it to fit you, but um, I was just going to show a few that I've actually Definitely. used at one time or another. So I pulled these five out. Um, Butch, Ringo, and the Sheep. That's the Thieves and Sheep plot. Uh, Jim Bergstrom's Hat Trick, which you know you can buy hat tears and things. He shows you how to make them and a, a great routine to do with it. Uh, Charlie Miller's left-handed Hank. I bought this simply because it said Charlie Miller, and I wish I could have met the guy. I, he, he would have been my hero. I mean, he still is, but this is that egg bag, the Siamese goose egg bag routine, and four squares and a knot. Uh, it, it's, he covers so much different stuff that if you go, well, I'm a coin guy. Well, there's coin routines. I'm a card guy. Well, there's card ones. He covers them all. And they're all really, they're all beautifully illustrated too. Sandra Court, Just gonna um, say, Milk yep. Court's wife, has illustrated all of these. And some of them are done in color and some of them are done in black and white. But all of the illustrations are done well so that you can see exactly what you need to, uh, you know, be doing and learn yeah. the magic. And they're fun. And to, to show how he thought ahead, um, a lot of the ones will have these amazing color illustrations. He says in there, he's designed them in such a way you can open up the staples, remove these colored pages, close your staples, and have the diagram sitting right there as you're going through. I mean, look at the quality of these. You know, you can show them, show them a couple up close. It's just, they're so well done. Now, not all of them have the color illustrations. A lot of them will just be, you know, text, but they're great. They're very well done. And if, if you don't get $15 worth of use out of it, I would say read it again. I would say talk to Don, see if you could do a trade-in for some store credit. Yeah. <laughs> I carry as many in my shop as I can get at a time. Um, there's still most of them are available. I think there's three or four that are out of print, not available anymore. You can get most of these already. They're still in print and you know, highly recommended if you're looking for something that will just walk you through from start to finish what you need to know. You can sit down and learn one routine really well. Too many magicians, we're, we're, we're 
always, oh, that, I want to try that. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Look at that. What's the newest, latest thing? And that's great. You got to have that stuff too. Sure. I'm not putting that down. If you want to really get good at magic, you have to have a few pieces that are your performance pieces right. that you're going to put the time into. And I think that these are all worthy additions yep. because a lot of them can be done with, you know, you've got four coins in your pocket, the Gadabout coins here revisited, yep. which is kind of a two in the hand, one in the pocket type routine. Yep. And so if you just have four coins in your pocket, whether they're quarters or whatever, you're ready to perform that routine. And if you've gotten the script, we all know that's what makes magic. When we watch America's Got Talent or some other performer on TV, everybody always says, well, I've got that trick. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I, I could do that. That's not difficult. And right. the point is, it doesn't have to be difficult. It's the presentation. Right. It's, it's performing it well that sells it and having a story to tell people because people are interested in stories. Yep, it, they're great. Yeah, yeah. In terms of the value, guys, $15 is not ridiculous. I know I, I often push books because you're gonna get a lot of tricks. Sure. Yep. But the thing about books, and, and hear me out, I'm trying to be fair about this. When you have a book, you're progressing so quickly through the tricks that it's not always a well-rounded script in there. A lot of times it's a basic outline and then you're going to have to put together the pieces yourself. Mm -hmm. It wasn't done by a professional writer. It was really done, I like this trick, I like this method, I like these props or something well, like let that. Let me share it with you. Yeah, let me share it with you. And so you're going through a book and you're left to do the work, which is good, but it's not for everybody. We don't all have the time. So this right. is a really nice way that again, you're going to pay a little more you know, per, per trick per trick type of deal. It also allows you to focus because you're just yep. getting one trick. Yep. So you get this book, you sit down with it, you're gonna learn that one trick really well. Yep. If you read through a book, it might be, let's say 50 tricks and 50 of them may be great. I mean, all 50 of them, but you might just surface skip along each one, but you, you, you pick out the one you like and you dive in. Well, all of these are full dives, you know, not just surface, oh, try this trick, try this trick. Yeah. And, and I recommend if, you're thinking about, you never heard of Ron Bauer, or you've heard the name, but maybe haven't you know, dove into it. Check out the list. I'm gonna have some B-roll uh, interlaced throughout, and also links to the website so that you can see what the different topics are and the descriptions of the tricks, so you could pick something that's relevant to you, because maybe you don't do silk magic. Then, then don't buy the silk magic right. one. If you do coin magic, check right. out the gad about coins. Or if you like card magic, then check out one of the card trick ones and just read through the description and decide for yourself, is this something I can see myself doing? Sure. I'll let you do the uh, sign out where we say, as always, thanks for watching. Until next time, keep reading. Can you do that? So, uh, say it one more time. It's basically, as thanks always, for watching. As always, thanks for watching. And until next until time. Until next time. Keep reading. Keep reading. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> can you do that one? Uh, I probably can. Let's see. Um, Give me the first line again. So as I always, my friends, yes, okay. thanks for... And as always, my friends... Thank you for watching. Yeah. <laughs> and as always, my friends, our friends... <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Why don't you just fill it in for... I'll okay. go... As always, my friends, thanks for watching. And until next time, keep reading. I don't know why I can't remember the next line, but okay. As always, our friends, keep watching. <laughs> Whatever. As always, my friends, we appreciate you watching. And until next time, keep reading.